Day 7 of the Judicial Panel Inquiry, which resumed a week after the panel chair and retired Chief Judge of Lagos, Justice Doris Okuobi, had adjourned proceedings on the 7th of November over the inability to form a quorum due to absence of two youth members in relation to the freezing of bank accounts of NSAS promoters by the Central Bank of Nigeria. On the 14th of November, Proceedings were able to carry on, and the major item on the agenda was hearing the testimony of the Nigerian army, ably represented by Brigadier General Ahmed Ibrahim Taiwo. He gave a very detailed account, starting with the background of the crisis, guidelines on the use of firearms, the Lekki Torgate incident, the aftermath of the crisis, the governor's call to the army, the use on social media in propagating falsehoods during the crisis, amongst other things. I was even monitoring the internet that night, and after the soldiers had left, the hoodlums came back and burned the toll gate. It was part of the wider damage. I spoke personally with the governor on this because the Nigerian army was not happy about two things. The first, his denial that he asked us to intervene, when in actual fact it was the proper thing to even do. He called the chief of army staff and called the GOC 81 division and asked for intervention because the police had been overrun. Then two, I spoke with the governor and said the army was unhappy that he said he did not ask the army to intervene. But I'm sure after we've watched everything, we saw he had more than reasonable grounds to ask the army to intervene. We believe that uh, the appearance of the Nigerian army here today is premature. They should not be in a hurry. It's premature. We have allegations against them. We have to file. But the instruments and the rules of the tribunal must be such that would uh, permit us to do so. Otherwise, our appearance here will just be in vain. It will be meaningless. It can be set aside by anybody, by any court. That as of today, there is no allegation whatsoever by anybody against the Nigerian army. No allegation whatsoever before this panel. And I urge your lordship to discountenance any proposal that the testimony of the Nigerian army should be further adjourned because of an alleged plan to file a petition in future against the Nigerian army. The proceedings took all day with the major issues highlighted. However, there is more cross-examination of the Brigadier General coming up on the day of adjournment, Saturday, the 24th of November, 2020. Okumbo Taiwo, Arise News, Lagos.